So our need to participate in a broken system, in a system that is exploitive, doesn't mean that we don't have a right to work to change it in whatever way we can while also still trying to provide for our families. I know I have a cell phone. I've been known to shop on Amazon during COVID so that I don't have to go out of the house. Um, I drive a minivan. So I think when we talk about permaculture and folks don't wanna hear commentary about it being political, I think it's really good to remember that when we are discussing, when we are investing in a new way of doing things, a new design that is sourced in people care and earth care, instead of sourced out of or focused on profit, it's going to be inherently political because we're going up against a system that is already established and it's ex established for exploitation and that puts it directly at odds with a society and a design that is established and focused on regeneration and abundance. The society that we live in and the way we use our resources, particularly petroleum, is inherently depleting, right? It's about using up a finite, non-renewable resource. So I, for one, am really, really excited to see that we are going to be focusing more as a country on renewables, catching up with other countries in the world that have spent the last decade and a half investing in renewable technology, while we have kind of let the lobbying powers of big oil rule our policy decisions. And keep us subsumed in a energy structure that is dying and is non-renewable. And I think that that is in keeping with permaculture principles. We are looking for new ways of doing things that mimic mother nature and that are regenerative, not depleting. So, Sure, I'm going to get a number of comments where folks are pretty upset that I said something political. Every time I say something that is uh, mildly political, a lot of folks take umbrage with it. And that's okay. We can disagree. We can still be focused on permaculture. We can still be focused on regenerative agriculture, gardening, duck keeping, chicken keeping, beekeeping, and disagree on politics. But I think if you are really committed to the three ethics of people care, earth care, and fair share, it's critical to think about what that means in terms of policy because we can work all we want as individuals, but we've really got to reorient our society to share those ethics and values because people are a resource. So if we all join together, we can be so much stronger and so much more efficient in making a regenerative society. Instead of all of us working as individuals, we can plug in and be stronger because of our interdependence. So I'm really excited about those changes. Um, I'm optimistic. I hope you all too are too. Maybe some growing pains, but I hope that we can start to slowly move in the right direction of policy as a country that can align with permaculture values because that means we are choosing policy that is going to be beneficial for people and the environment. Improve the quality of life for all people and improve the planet for all living things. So I can't feel my fingers, so I'm gonna go back in the house and warm up by the wood stove. Unfortunately, I don't think any of the snow is gonna stick, but we're gonna enjoy it while it is falling. So I'll leave you with a few moments of listening to the soft sounds of these big, big flakes. Hope you stay well. Thank you.